it's Dee McKenna with Nutrients for Life. Um, I'm actually standing in a cornfield with my dad. He's a farmer in uh, central Iowa. He raises um, cattle, field corn, soybeans, hay, and sweet corn. Now, Dad, a lot of us run to the grocery store or the farmer's market when we hear the sweet corn is ready. What's the difference between sweet corn and field corn? Basically flavor, but, but they're, they're two different commodities. Uh, Years and years ago, I think people used to go and buy and take sweet corn out of a corn field, regular cornfield, and get it when it was before it was dented. And it, that's why you see you hear people put sugar in sweet corn today, and they don't need to because the breeders have, have bred so much sweetness into the corn, and there's so much sugar and, and less starchy in the in sweet corn. So it's just a matter of a lot of years of, of breeding by the by the corn people to, to produce a sweet corn that just doesn't need any assistance. It's just really, really good. And you uh, provide sweet corn to your local community and the local grocery stores, and you said you had about 30 acres. Now, how do you manage 30 acres as far as providing nutrients to your soil? Uh, we, we treat it like we do all our crops, beans and corn. Uh, we'll soil we soil test the ground to see what's in it. This particular farm where we're standing, has, they raise a lot of hogs, so it has a lot of hog manure on the ground. And so in this particular field, the only thing I've added to it was some uh, liquid nitrogen as I, as I sprayed a herbicide on and uh, some anhydrous that we put down early in the spring. And they're both forms of nitrogen. I put on no P and K in this particular field. Okay, you just said you don't put um, phosphorus potassium on your field because there was, um, because you added um, hog manure to the right, field in the fall. Over the years, this, this, uh, this farm has raised a lot of hogs, so it's, it's just really high in organic matter and it's really, really high in uh, P and K. It just mm -hmm. doesn't require any. And so. So you're really careful not to over fertilize your field. Oh, there's there's no no need to over fertilize it. For one thing, it costs you a lot. Mm -hmm. Fertilizer is expensive. Uh, another thing, it's just not good for the environment. You know, we you just use what you need. And being a responsible farmer, you're taking care of the land as you work the land. Absolutely. Well, folks, here's some sweet corn that they raised. Um, this particular brand is. This is actually Providence. Providence is a yellow and white corn. And it's very sweet. I actually had some last night. So hit your local farmer's market, support the farmers raising the food for you, and um, be responsible when you garden. Thank you.